Farm in Sydney with race six, the San Domenico Stakes. Over 1,000 metres for three-year-olds. The track was good with Turts, the even money favourite. The ball around the turn and cloud led taken on by Jester Royale. Big Dreams and here comes Terse coming home quickly down the outside. Big Dreams has got the better of cloud dead. Here comes Terse and Terse moves up on the outside of Big Dreams. Big Dreams and Terse. Terse, he's a mighty goal. Terse comes away, wins the San Domenico. Continuing his great form from last season, defeating Big Dreams yet again, Terse, the even money favourite, Cloudlet third at four to one. Now to Caulfield in Melbourne and race five, the Churnside Stakes. Fresh Street rough in front of the 200. Trianta Falu has it under the whip, two lengths clear. Here comes Redalva, but Street Ruffian has a good lead. 100 metres to go, and he's holding them at bay. Street Ruffian, he'll win it again from Redalva. And Street Ruffian beats Redalva by a length and three quarters. Street Ruffian at tens ahead of Redalva and Sonic Express at eight to one. John Daly, a rookie on the American tour, has taken the lead. Last year's two-year-old Triple Crown winner, Tias, could be a star of the spring. The colt has been set for the Cox Plate following his brilliant return to the track at Warwick Farm. Taken on by Jester Royale, Big Dreams, and here comes Terse coming home quickly down the outside. Big Dreams has got the better of Cloud Dead. Here comes Terse, and Terse moves up on the outside of Big Dreams. Big Dreams and Terse. Terse, he's a mighty cult. Terse comes away, wins the San Domenico by a half length of Big Dreams, Cloud Lead, followed by Jester Royale. The next and Tears has now won nine of his 11 starts and almost $2 million in prize money. Grey sprinter Street Ruffian staged a form reversal to beat the favourite Redelver in today's Churnside Stakes. Starting at 10 to 1, the Ruffian led all the way to win the race for the second year in a row. Despite the surprise win, punters did extremely well with five favourites successful on the eight event card. They started with Newsbeat getting home in the first on the program, winning at 13 to 8 in favourite. He outjumped them to score. The second, and this was won by Big Colony at 5 to 1, David Taggart's 15th win in the city area, and it was back from 8s into 5 to 1 to beat the favourite. Celerator won the third, back from 12s into 8 to 1, wearing blinkers for the first time with Stephen King on board. First of our replays and Ride the Rapids, a very smart filly. By Dangerous Seam out in the centre. Dangerous Seam race to the front now from Perfect Draw, Latin Halo. Ride the Rapids with a late burst is finishing with a great flurry. Look at her come, Ride the Rapids all over the top of Dangerous Seam. And Ride the Rapids, a big win to beat Dangerous Seam, a long head. Third is Royal Accord. And, then... and Ride the Rapids has now won uh, his or her only two starts. She was highly impressive at five to two. Now Street Ruffian in the churn. Trianta Falu has it under the whip, two lengths clear. Here comes Redalva, but Street Ruffian has a good lead. 100 metres to go, and he's holding them at bay. Street Ruffian, he'll win it again from Redalva. And Street Ruffian beats Redalva by a length and three quarters. Uh, about two and a half lengths away in third placing Sonic Express in front of... And Street Ruffian took his stakes earnings past the half million dollar mark with that victory today. Mamzelle Padu, an easing favourite in race six. Coming at them on the outside, but still Mamzelle Padu in front. Down to the 100, she's kicked away. She's got them beaten again, Mamzelle Padu. Draws away from Royal Switch and Expected Journey. And Mamzelle Padu scores well. Wins it by two and a quarter. Expected Journey just got up for second in front of Royal Switch. Well, the more you win, the better the price. And Mamzelle Padu made it three in a row. They bit five to two at one stage of betting. And Lord Chickton, too good in the next. Lord Chickton answering Harry White's hands and heels, and he's drawn away. Lord Chickton, he sprinted clear by three lengths now to Super Veed and Pavash to fight out the miners. But Lord Chickton kept going by White, will score by a length and a half. Second placing Super Veed just in front of Pavash. Then Bold And Lord Chickton starting at four to one. He's now won two out of two since being gelded. Harry White really riding in superb form at the moment. Super Veed second at fives, Pavash third, 11 to two. And the last was won by Beaver called at 11 to 4, having her first start over the 1600, Michael Clark riding her brilliantly to uh, just get the distance over Woodward Girl and Gaylocks. Daily double today, two street ruffian and seven, Lord Chickton returned $25.70. The extra for seven, Big Colony, and five, Ride the Rapids, $12.60. Quadrunner, five, two, four, and seven. Uh, probably Street Ruffy in the second leg, the hardest one to get there. $333.75. And the quad extra for two, four, seven and one, $372.85. The straight six, nobody was able to pick the last six winners today, so a $45,000 carryover jackpot pool to Mooney Valley on Wednesday. That's all in sport tonight. Thank oh, you, Sue. What a shame it wasn't us, Greg. Well, maybe next time. Maybe next time, yes. Thanks a lot. See you tomorrow. OK. OK, now to the weather and, believe it or not, things...